I'm going to be taking a look at Horizon Forbidden West at 1440p on my 4080 Super. You can see here I'm at 1440p. Um, upscaling and frame generation is off. I will check them out in a little bit, a little bit later on in the video. Uh, graphics wise, got everything maxed out. So that means some of the settings go to high and some of them go to very high. So you can see here, not all of them go to very high. Uh, but let's have a look. Now, that's looking pretty good at the moment. 125, 120, 125 looks decent. Don't know what weapon this is. What is this? How do I use that? Oh my god. Only thing is you walk a bit too slow with that. But yeah, we'll, we'll play through this a little bit. See roughly what the performance is like. It looks pretty good so far. Quite a big improvement from 4K. Well, I'm trying to remember what we had at 4K. Was it about 70 to 80 FPS? I think average was roughly about 70. So it's looking like quite a big uplift of performance from there. I have no idea where I've got to go. So at the moment, we've got an average of 125. Should pretty much stay over 100, I would say. 100 FPS. Still noticing this frame time, though. Looks quite choppy, so... It's giving us a 0.1% low of 79, so it's not the best. But is it still there? Okay. I should find the server room. Looks good graphically in here. Have to keep going down. I have to be. Seeing it under 300 watts on the GP power though, so a little bit better for the power on that. Not a massive difference from 4K, but a little bit better. VRAM as well looks like it's a little bit lower. Didn't really have issues at 4K with that either, but it's obviously just come down a little bit as you'd uh, as you'd expect. Got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of Look limits, at that. All, but I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. See an FPS over 150 here as well, so... Definitely a little bit of a range, depending on where you are. You can, you can see some pretty good highs, but also get some pretty big dips, depending on the location. Where do we have to go from here? Can I do something with that? Oh, I can. Should be able to get up there now. Here we go. Here we go. This is like Assassin's place. Creed now. Going like up a waypoint. It transmitted something through the spot. Oh my god, this is a long way up. Why would he do that? And look at our FPS as well. 180 FPS. Now where do I go? The transmission node at the top will tell me. Do you think I can jump that? The answer to that is no. Looks like this oh my god. Can I go up through the inside? Look at that. Now in this open area bit, it seems like FPS is dropping a little bit closer to 100 FPS. So we're not, not quite seeing it stay above 100 quite as much. Seeing dip down to 97 there. The machines must have torn through this camp. Try and get some of these. Oh dear. Is there another one? There is. Oh, hell nah. Oh, we got it.
I'm now going to test with DLSS upscaling and frame generation on. So you can see down here, we've got upscaling set to quality and frame generation on. So FPS wise, a big increase as you'd expect all the way up to about 180, 190 FPS here from in the exact same area. We had about 100 to 120. So you're looking at a good 60 to 70 FPS increase there, breaking 200 outside here now. It's dropped our GP power as well quite a bit, it's sitting at about 250 watts now, so that's down by about 30, 40 watts as well. So have a little look, quick look around. There is, I've got some sort of mission up here. Oh, damn. Quite a big drop of FPS in the combat here. So 165 then. It's quite a big drop, isn't it? It feels okay though, I'm not noticing any latency or anything like that. I am playing on controller. I know sometimes you feel stuff like that a little bit less on controller as well. I think this game overall though suits controller a bit better. Oh, I've got to go down here, what's that thing? Where are you? VRAM as well doesn't look too different from what we had, maybe up slightly because we switched frame generation on, but not really a massive difference. Still got quite a fair bit of stuttering in the frame time though i'm not noticing it in game it's not big big stutters but you're seeing it's kind of micro stutter a little bit here and there which has given us a 0.1 percent low of 81s it's quite far from obviously where our fps is so the like frame pacing there seems a little bit off still who's talking to me it's always something Hold tight. I'll see what I can do. Can I, like, bait it in? That's what I was going to say. Lure him into the tripwire. The tripwire not game. How does that work? He's just gone straight through it. Can't see him. Oh, he's dodged me. Well, didn't exactly go to plan, but we got him anyway. Keep, I'll keep, keep going forward and seeing. I've got another objective back at the uh, city, I think. Notice the FPS does drop a bit on this as well when you are close to, you know, you're going near water. Saw that a little bit earlier in the game as well. But overall, pretty impressed with frame generation on. I say, probably don't need 200 FPS on this. I'd probably opt to maybe have just DLSS quality on or something. We'll, we will check that out. I know some people are not massive fans of uh, frame generation. I'm trying to shoot the green bits, but... Easier said than done. There we go.
I'm going to test with frame generation off, but I'm going to keep DLSS upscaling set to quality. So here at least, I think we're looking at about probably an average of 20 FPS. More than what we had at native 1440p. Which is about in the rough range of what you'd normally expect. Switching on upscaling, at least the quality preset. Between 20 and 30 FPS. Oh my god, there's a lot here. This might have been a mistake. Yeah, this was a mistake. How's that not hitting the green bits? That is. Oh my goodness. Can I get on this rope? I can't craft any arrows. Oh, Max, that's why. Oh my goodness. Uh, but it's bought our GPU power down and sitting at about under 250 watts, so that's obviously uh, a little bit better. VRAM as well is under 9 gig now. Overall VRAM range is kind of between 9 and 13. Even at 4K, we didn't really see it much above 13 gig. Oh my god. Um... It's not looking good, Brev. What's the strategy here? Not my chance. What do I do? Critical strike. Boom. Get the other one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear another one. Finish it. Oh. Whoa! Right, I almost got that one. That one's really low. Oh yeah, they're in big trouble. Look at that. Look at that for shooting. Absolutely pro. Couldn't have done that any better. I'm at 1440p native, but I'm going to test with the graphic settings set to high instead of very high. So I'll quickly go through the settings here, but you can see everything's set to high instead of very high. So FPS wise here, seems like we don't really gain too much by switching it to high. Maybe on average at most gain maybe 10 FPS. I think graphics wise, the game doesn't look massively different, to be honest. I don't think it's probably not worth dropping it down really in terms of the performance you gain. Almost definitely isn't worth it for that little amount of FPS. <laughs> Another one for the scrap. Still seeing it drop under a hundred. Just get back to chain scrape before you get yourself. Uh, we've got an average of a hundred, so still gonna hold roughly in and around there. Looks like the Osram decided to put up a fight. 
sweet spot we finally got some help. Try and get rid of these robot things. I don't know, are they robots? Animals? Robot animals? I don't even know what you call them. I can't get it. There we go. One less machine. Damn, he's going hand to hand combat on that one, is he? I just said there's one more, but it definitely looks like there's two. Whoa. Do you realize there's destructible scenery on this? Oh my god. Oh no. Got that one. Where's this? Where's this other one? Oh, I got stuck. Oh. We got it. Is that it? Nice. If you've enjoyed this video, click one of the videos on the screen now to see me testing more GPUs, and I'll catch you next time.